Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today's video is five interesting knives that are front flippers. So starting this one off, we have the MKM Rot. Now, the MKM Rot is an Italian-made knife in M390 steel, and the blade is... I guess I would call it a sheep's foot blade. Some people would call it a clip point or a spay point, but it's kind of a sheep's foot blade. Titanium and G10 scales or handles. Now, the titanium frame lock does not have a steel lock bar insert. Very smooth on its caged bearings. Now, the front flipper, if you look at it, you see there's two different kinds of jimping here. We have the very fine jimping up there, which is exactly what you want to use for the front flipping action. You do not want to use the, this jimping down here. That's going to be for once it's open. But the top jimping is for the deployment. And if you use it right, after you get it, you know, kind of down because it likes to be from flipped, like I said, from the top using that jimping. And once you get it down, man, this thing is really snappy, great lockup, and it's a very solid knife. You can really feel the build quality and the toughness of this knife. It's very tough. So the front flipping action is really good. And the geometry is on the thicker, more robust side. However, you know, like I said, it does have a kind of a hinderer feel to it. The ergos are really, really nice. So you can feel that you can really bear down on this knife comfortably, which is nice since it does have more of a robust grind. Now, like I said, it is on bearing, so it is very, very smooth. We have a titanium clip that's not deep carry, so you can slip it in and out of your pocket. Man, this thing has a really cool sound to it. And And sometimes I like to slow roll it. I like to pinch it out and just roll it because the lockup, it, you can really feel and hear the lockup engage. It's very solid and also very enjoyable, very satisfying. Awesome, awesome knife. And I'm glad I got to check this one out. Um, thanks to Q1 Fiend. Let's get to the next one. Now, the next one is a smaller knife. We have the Rake. M K or sorry, M six, seven, one T Z. Now this is the titanium version. They also make it in a more budget steel version and it has multiple deployments, not just a front flipper, but as you can see, we have an amazing front flipping action. Even though this is kind of a three finger knife, you can take advantage of this area right here since there's not a regular flipper tab and get a four finger grip. It is a solid little knife, though, because since it is, you know, like I said, uh, on the smaller side, if you look, you can see how thick these scales are. Very robust scales. And the stop pin is a nice big stop pin. Thumb stud action, really good. Nice big thumb studs. Easy for the reverse flick as well. Great access to the lock bar. It's also a nicely, nice and comfortable lock bar to disengage. And the geometry is slightly on the more robust side. Now, don't get me wrong, you can cut just fine. But I kind of understand it. You know, it's a Tonto blade. The scales are a little bit more on the robust side. So this might be a knife you might want to use slightly as a multi-tool. You know, I'm not telling you what to do with your knife. But, you know, it's a knife that I think would work out good for that. Now, the front flipping action, the jimping is really nice. And it does stick up nice and high. So it's easy to deploy. And if you're not good at it, you always do have the thumb studs. The blade steel is 154 cm. And this is, like I said, in titanium, but the backspacer is steel and so is the clip. So just so you know, steel lock bar insert, very smooth on its caged bearings. And yeah, awesome little knife. Let's check out the next one. Now, I'm going to throw an honorable mention in here. So this one is not on the list. So technically there's going to be six knives you guys will see. Now this is the Boker Kansai. And I'm showing this one not only because it's an awesome little knife, but it comes in so many different options. Now, besides that, it has two different deployment options. So if you're wanting a front flipper that, you know, maybe you're not used to front flippers yet, this is an easy one to deploy for one. But two, you have another option. So... If you want to try out a front flipper 
and you know make sure that you're you know you uh you like it you can get this because if you don't like the front flipping action in this case you don't have to use the front flipper you have a regular flipper it's very slim in the hand the blade steel is vg10 and this one's in green micarta but like i said it comes in brass copper wood carbon fiber all different vari variants so then i also really like this little guy you can put a lanyard on it. It looks cool hanging out of your pocket. The clip is amazing. This clip works so, so good. And it's very slim. And well, this one being the green micarta is extremely light. Good access to the lock bar. Very, very smooth on the drop. I mean, extremely smooth. And it's an easy front flipper. Even though the front flipper is very small, it, it's very easy to use. Extremely easy. So I do recommend this one if you guys want to check it out. I'll try to link a whole bunch of them down in the description. Now, the next one. The next one is the Civivi Lazar. Now, this is an Elijah Isham design. He also did the Civivi McKenna, which I've always said was possibly one of the easiest front flippers out there it's one that uh, is very very snappy it's a good size it's a nice uh, slim little lightweight carry edc that comes in multiple different options now this is kind of a larger version except for it's a different blade shape this one's more of a persian blade shape while the mckenna is a sheep's foot blade shape but very similar this one's just a little bit bigger and the action is still very, very good. The action is very, very similar to the McKenna. But in this case, well, at least for me, I can reverse flick this knife because it's a stonewashed blade and the detent is very well tuned. Now, the blade steel on this one is the 10CR 15 MOV steel. And it does have amazing, really good geometry. Now, this Persian blade might not be the best for utility cuts, but you will be able to get some really good slicing in. Nice and thin and compact in the hand. Deep carry clip that is reversible. And the build is really good. The lockup's really good. The front flipping action's amazing because they, they do the most perfect jimping. This jimping is perfect. You see how it wraps around the flipper tab? Now, I highly recommend any front flippers you know, to have the jimping wrap around the front flipper all the way around the top, because a lot of times you're using the very po you know point of that front flipper to flip it, which in this case makes it very, very easy to deploy. And the way the handle wraps around, you can really get a good grip like this and snap it open. My one biggest complaint about this one that's not on the McKenna is the access to the lock bar. They made it a little tight in this case. Now they get left a little bit out, so it's not horrifying but the mckenna is so much easier to disengage now this one does have internal stop pins as you can see this little pin right there that is the stop pin and you see where it shoulders in right there locks up right there and then when it closes it hits the other side right there the mckenna is built the same way ceramic caged bearings very very smooth on the drop and it is a really good front flipper i just wish they would have gave me a little bit better access to that lock bar all right two more so this one is the concept prickle now this one comes in many different options including this one which is in copper now the copper one is going to be heavy because copper or brass is heavier than say g10 a lot heavier so expect it to be on the heavier side but in this case i kind of like it to be a little heavier now i had the g10 version and i like this version a little bit better not everybody will want this version because of the weight but i don't really mind the weight it does have a titanium milled pocket clip steel liners great front flipping action the front flipper really sticks out there really good and the blade is a beautiful drop point blade and S35 VN blade still. Now they do have another budget option. This one is the more expensive, more premium option, but they have a G10 and um, I forget the blade steel on the other one. I'm sorry. I think it's um, N690 maybe. I, I, I'm sorry. I forget. No, maybe it's 154 CM. I think actually 154 CM on the other one. Now, you can't use this fuller. It does, you know, you just can't get to it. It does um, fall right inside the handle, so you can barely see the blade. The action is amazing. The access to the lock bar is really good. Very, very smooth on the drop. 
The deployment is so good. Now, it does have very neutral grips. And if you look at this jimping, I love how they did this jimping all the way down the blade. So you can really bear down, you know, on the, the spine of this up, you know, really far into the blade. You don't have to stay back here to hit the jimping. You can hit it, you know, anywhere your thumb lands. Which also is the same jimping for the front flipper. Very useful blade shape. The geometry is pretty decent for slicing. Not the sliciest of all knives, but the blades, the blade stock is nice and thin. So, you know, it, it's pretty decent geometry and it does cut pretty well pretty well. Now, like I said, there's multiple different options. So there is a bunch of different price points. So I'll link as many of them down below as possible. But if I don't link the exact one you want, that's okay. Just click and then you can pick, you can choose which one you want. After you click on one of them, you can kind of scroll through and pick a different one if you want. Awesome knife though. Now, next, well, last. The Kaiser, now this one, they make lots of different versions of, but this is the Kaiser Feist, the Deadpool edition. So this one's the red micarta and uh, 3V. So this one's more of the premium version, but they do have other premium versions. They have the titanium frame lock version, micarta versions, uh, I mean brown, brown micarta versions. They have uh, other different steel options. So... This one, they have a lot of different versions of. I've actually done the review on the titanium version. Now, they used to have different blade shapes, but I think this is the only blade shape left now. I think they discontinued the other blade shapes. But awesome front flipping action. You can see the jimping, um, you know, well done jimping. Very grippy, very easy to deploy. This is... I guess a four finger knife, but it is a slim, more smaller four finger knife. I mean, this thing is very compact, very easy to carry. The clip works so good. I love that they inset the clip and put flat screws. Perfect clip. I mean, you can, it just, it just disappears. You barely even, know, you won't even know you have a knife on you. Now, 3V steel, extremely tough steel, insanely tough steel. So, and it also has good edge retention. Now, this isn't the coating coming off. This is just tape. I'm sorry, guys. I should have cleaned it off. But the coating, you know, you do want to be a little more careful with. This coating isn't the most durable of coatings. However, the way you're going to be using this knife, I doubt you're really going to, you know, the coating is going to be much of a threat. But, you know, just know that it, it is possible. All coatings are possible to to start wearing off the more you use it or should i say the tougher you use it access to lock bar is really good it is very very smooth on its ceramic bearings and it is small and compact in the hand and very lightweight like i said the access to lock bar is really good extremely light um, very easy to deploy and it is nice and slicey. I do like this blade shape. It's really good for multi uses. So you can use it for a utility cutter or you can use it for slicing and push cuts, etc. Um, 3V steel, you know, I don't know if it belongs on this knife. 3V is an extremely tough steel, but however, being quote coated, you're not going to have to worry about the corrosion and two, it does get good edge retention. And sometimes people are a little tougher on their edge. And in this case, you got about the toughest thing you could get, you know, so just about at least. So there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.